Hello YouTube, I'm Tom and Brad and in this video I'm going to show you how to get snow on the peaks of mountains in Alpha 20 Random World Gen Maps. So I've already done a video on how to edit biomes and draw your own if you like, but that video didn't show you how to get the snow to appear on peaks, so that's what this one's all about. Let's come out of there and have a look at the folder where we have created a new world using Alpha 20's own built-in random world gen. So here's one here that I made just the other day called New Kanoa County. And if I open that up, we can see inside there's the biomes map and it's not good. So how exactly are we going to fix this? Well, we're going to use an old friend, King Gen. Yeah, it's still extremely useful. Let's open up King Gen. Then we're going to go into Advanced Settings and make sure I've reset everything just so you can follow this nice and easily. The first thing we need to do is extract the height map from the map that Alpha 20 made. And yes, you can do that. And uh -huh, you can edit it as well. More on that in another video. But what we're going to do here is we're going to convert the height map from Alpha 20 to a format that King Gen can read. So if I go to the right hand side here, it says raw to 16 bit, click on that. And it's gone to, because I've looked at this just a moment ago, it's gone to the folder where New Kanoa County is saved. You'll find that by going to percent, app data, percent, hit enter, going to seven days to die, generated worlds, and there it is, New Kanoa County. And the file we're interested in is this one here, that's DTM. So it's a raw file. We're going to open that. King Gen's going to ask where are we going to save the height map version of it. Well, we'll save it in the same place just for convenience so we know where it is. And I'm just going to call it HM for height map. And we'll say save. We'll give that a second. And once it's done that, the next thing we'll need to do is to tell King Gen that we're going to use that new height map to create our new world. Now, we're not interested in the world that it creates. We're really just interested in the biomes. So we go to advanced customization. Custom height map, say select, find the same again, app data, generated worlds, new Kanoa, and there is the height map in a format that we can see in a thumbnail there. So if I open that up, it's loaded that in. There are a couple of things I'm going to change now here to get it to do exactly what I'm after. Now in this video, it's all about getting snow on the peaks. So I'm not interested in making any of the other biomes. But if you wanted to, you could leave these on and generate a whole new biome system for your map. But what I want to do is turn off the desert, the, I'm going to leave the snow on medium, burn forest non, wasteland non, and then I'll leave everything else as default. Now, just for safety, I don't know if this has a big impact, but the height of water has changed. The default height used to be 43. It appears to now be 30. So I'm going to change that to 30 just in case it does interfere. I haven't tested it, but it might interfere with biome drawing. So we'll change that to 30 as well. I'm not going to change any other settings in here. I'm just going to hit the back button and I made a note that the world that I created, that new Kanoa, was a 6K map. So I'm going to change this to 6K. Otherwise, we're going to get an error. So just match that size to the size of the world that you're editing and then hit generate world. So just to stress, we're not interested in the layout of the cities or anything like that. We're not doing anything with tiles in this video or the new roads or any of that sort of thing. We're purely interested in getting snow to appear on peaks. And there's our preview. So you can see around the edges, the system employed by the Alpha 20 Random World Gen likes to do these mountains around the edges. We haven't got much choice about that, uh, but at least they have got snow just on the peaks and it's not just that huge blocky thing of white and so on. So at this point, I'm gonna go into Open King Gen Worlds, find the one I've just created, which defaults to the name King Gen World, unless you've named it something else. And if I open that up, there is our new biomes just for the snow on the peaks because remember I turned off everything else. But note it is also showing the rest of it as the pine biome. We're going to fix that in a second. So I'll close down that preview and what I'm going to do is just right click on that and say open with GIMP. Now obviously use whatever photo editing software you are happy with but just to point out again that GIMP is free and it's nice and easy to use. So there's our new snow biome map if you like and i'm going to add this to the existing biome map 
that was created using Alpha 20 Random World Gen. So if I go into the File Explorer, into New Kanoa County, there's the nasty one that it made itself. If I right click on that and also say open with GIMP, we'll see that that should pop up there. There it is. So now going back to our first one, our new one here, there's something I need to do that will make life that little bit easier for us. And that's just to go over to the side here where the layers section is, do a right click on this and say, add alpha channel. Without getting into too much detail, all that's going to do is allow us to make an image that has a transparent layer to it. So if I just say add alpha channel, it doesn't look any different, but you'll see why I've done that in a second. Next, I'm going to go into the magic wand and click on what is the forest biome area. So it selects all of that and you can see by the little marching ants, whatever they used to call them, that it's selected only the green area. And then I'm going to use the delete key on the keyboard to completely remove that. So that's left us with a transparent PNG that only contains the snow. Now I need to deselect it, get rid of these ants. So I'm just going to do a right click, go to select and say none. Next, I want to select the whole thing. So control and A. Then I'm going to do control and C. Then change to the Alpha 20 biome map. And go up to the edit menu and say paste as new layer. And you can see what's happened there. It's added those snow to the peaks to the existing map. So from here, if you're happy with that, you can just go to file export as it's put the name biomes in because that's the name of that file that we've used there we can just accept that say export it's saying it already exists we'll just replace it you don't need to change any of these settings in here just say export and now when we load up our game you'll find that you have snow on the peaks but if you wanted to go a little bit further and get rid of some of this excess snow and desert that we've got here, you can have a look at the other video that I've done. But just to very briefly summarize what happens in that, if I could click on the biomes layer, which is the original Alpha 20 layer, change to the paintbrush, select the a solid round brush, make sure the hardness and the force are on full, change the brush color by clicking on the foreground color picker, use the eyedropper to pick up the exact shade of green that we need and then change the size of the brush to something a bit bigger and I can start just painting out the excess snow and you can see what's happening there the new snow on the peaks layer is above this one so now it's going to stand out and take your time get a smaller brush do whatever fancy shapes you want you can see all of that information in the other video I highly recommend trying out the Bristles 2 brush, setting it a decent size and using that to feather the edges so you get a natural, a more natural transition. The same with the desert. All right, let's jump into 7 Days to Die and test to see if it's worked. Here we are. So I'll say new game, go to New Kanoa County and we'll call that Peaks Test. Doesn't really matter. And say start. Okay, once we're in the world, I'll put developer mode on with DM. Come out of that, get rid of those pop-ups, hit H and space. And let's get a bit of height and straight away. Look at that. That mountain looks so much better. It has the snow on the peak exactly as we like it. And if we go over here, we can see where I left the snow for this village, which may have snow related biomes in it but the mountain also has snow on the top, as do these ones. And hopefully, there we go, all the ones around the edges as well. So in King Gen, you've got those settings to change the amount of snow. It's on medium at the minute for this setting here. But if you change that to higher or lower, then basically you're changing the, the height that the snow starts to spawn. Well, I hope the video was useful or interesting and check out my channel for other videos messing about with Seven Days to Die maps and other things. Thanks very much for my patrons for your support and thank you for hitting the like button for this video. I'll see you again soon with more of this sort of thing. Bye bye.